there are so many young people who want to understand the dark energy and the Persian scenario of the universe. They are young and they want to be a good scientist and they want to really contribute in the scientific community. But the problem is that they have a lot of idea of how the universe should have worked and what could be the scenario of the universe. But they don't know how to start. They lack have uh, the lack of the scientific how the scientist really works and where to start. Therefore, I am bringing these lectures on the you know scientific understanding of now. If you want to understand the dark energy, where to start? The question is so. Therefore. If you are a beginner and if you are new to dark energy, where to start and you don't know anything about it, there is a review called Dynamics of Dark Energy and if you are search on the Google, just type Dynamics of Dark Energy by Copeland or by Sami, you will get this review. This review has been published in 2006 by these three authors, Edmund G. Copeland, M. Sami and Shinji Tsutagawa. So this first author, he belongs to School of Physics, Astronomy, University of Nottingham, United Kingdom. The second person is from the Center of Theoretical Physics, Jamia Mil Islamia, New Delhi, India. So he is from India and this uh, Shinji, he is from Department of Physics, Guna National College of Technology, Japan. So these three guys are working and they have you know they have published an amazing paper which is called a review paper because they have you know analyzed so many different different paper on this field and they are itself you know giants in these fields hence they have made published this paper in 2006 and why this paper is remarkable because they have con they have you know organized different different you know like 200 to 250 papers and then from that they have they have, you know, uh, talked about many different aspects, how you're going to understand this dark energy. So my first question is that, how to read a research paper? So now you can understand that there is a first thing is called title, then second is, you now the second portion is come to the author, you know, and you can understand about these authors from their email address and their affiliation has given. Now from here you can understand that where they have published this paper and so on. Okay, second portion is that the abstract part. Here you can see the compact summary of the entire paper. From here you will get an idea that what this paper is all about, what you are going to get from this paper, and uh, what are the different aspects of the view of this paper, what you are going to get something. So this is a very, very, very concise and precise summary of the entire paper. And then in different different journals, they have different different styles. Now, since it's a review paper, therefore they will give you contents since it is containing so many different sections. Now you can see that in this review paper, there is like 17 sections. So this is a very huge paper and it has 82 pages. In different different journals, when you read the actual research papers, they have like 20 to 24, 24 pages. So they will not provide you any contents. Now here you can see the contents, these are but these are you know uh, in, they have included introduction introduction is give you the brief idea that what is the history of the subject and how they have expanded and what are the ideas so different different authors have different different you know a uh, way of storytelling so you know if you are studying about dark matter and dark energy it has an amazing story that how the observations is playing its role what is the what is the interesting thing about dark energy and so on so it is a brief introduction and then elements of FLRW so one section is one section is giving you the introductory part that what are the basics actually you have to understand you have to know to understand any paper so these are the common things which you will get and after that you will get the new things that what authors have actually uh, you know contributed and which have not appeared anywhere so and in the last you will get one section called conclusion in conclusion whatever the sections they have done they will give you the brief summary of the thing and then they will discuss that what is the conclusion what the paper is actually concluding after that you will get an acknowledgement acknowledgement is that whatever the authors you know they, they thank or whatever they have getting they are getting the fundings and then there comes the references now since they have included around 350 references okay oh it is exceeding 300 so it's approximately 550 okay so 550 references and now if you are starting this if you want to understand the dark energy you know to cover all 550 references is out of the question and uh, you know there are so many references which is very old and you don't have probably no time therefore to read the reviews is very essential when you are working in any kind of field 
So for this, if you want to work on the dark and dark matter and dark energy field, you have to read it. So that's all. So here is you can see if you want to really want to read all these uh, papers, you can do you can see the archive links here. Just click on it and you will get to the archive link and from there you will get the original paper, the published paper and so on. So there is the so there is the structure of any reference, any um, research papers. Now let us come to our abstract thing and we try to in this pay in this uh, video, video lecture we are going to just focus on the abstract part and the later on video we are going to uh, study bit by bit what is the introduction and what is the first part of the elements of FLRW and so on okay so let us first try to understand what is what is this paper is actually going to tell us in this paper we review in detail a number of approaches that have been adopted to try and explain the remarkable observation of our accelerating universe. Now we all know that our universe is accelerating and if you don't know how, how we have come to an understanding there is a video you can see click on it link and you will see the complete history of the universe and what are the observation consequences through which we know we came to an understanding that we know the universe is accelerating but you know we don't have any concrete proof that which lead to this expansion therefore to explain this game there are so many players in the in the market and therefore you know we we will we are like to invent different different players we don't know which one is perfect Therefore, that is why our job is to you know, look for other possibilities. Anything can happen. And there are different phases of different different things. That's why we are interested. That's why he said that there are number of detailed approaches. And we have to study those detailed approaches that what could be the, you know, you know, you know when we are, uh, when we are very, uh, you know, when we are kid and we try to understand something less like Newton's equation f is equal to ma. We think that okay f is equal to ma is the only equation is true and nothing can be true but you will came to an understanding that there are different different way we can think of it so it means that for to analyze the same thing there could be different different phase of it okay so obviously f is equal to ma is the truth uh, but why it is true because it is actually verifying that it is verifiable from the experiments f is equal to m a is coming through the experiments but now the problem is that we know the acceleration of the universe but we don't know what gives this acceleration who is responsible therefore we need to you know study so many different experts i hope i am i have given you this clear idea now as you progress in particular we discuss the arguments and recent progress obviously we are going to discuss all these things what have been progressed towards understanding the nature of dark energy we review the observational evidence for current accelerated expansion of the universe obviously we have to review those you know what are the observational evidence and present a number of dark energy models in addition to conventional cosmological constant now in the review in that video the first uh, you know explanation of this acceleration comes from the cosmological constant we will see in the detail paying particular attention to scalar field models now this this has given you the keyword of paying particular attention it means that this paper is actually you know focused on these scalar field models and what are these scalar field models these scalar field models are quintessence ksns tachyon phantom and diatomic models and these models are very interesting and we will understand that what are how to analyze these models how these models are different how these fields are different and what are the impact in our present scenario what you know the universe has evolved from different different phases and if these scalar fields are actually the you know the real field which is giving you this acceleration then how these fields are behaving in different different epochs of the universe the important the importance of cosmological scaling solutions is emphasized when studying the dynamical system of scalar fields including coupled dark energy so it means that this folk, this paper we have uh, you know the authors they have uh, emphasized on cosmological scaling solutions when studying the dynamical system scalar fields you know if you want to study the scalar fields there is a very great tool is called dynamical systems and in the dynamical system there exist some cosmological scaling solutions from there you will get it okay so what are the cosmological scaling solutions and why they are important so that they have emphasized so much we will understand 
Now we study the evolution of cosmological perturbation. Now cosmological perturbation is playing a great role. You know why cosmological perturbation is important? You know, we have the observation that the universe is not completely homogeneous and isotropic. Means that whatever, wherever we see, the, the universe appears to be so homogeneous. And so, you know, you, wherever you will see that, you will see that the universe appears to be the same. But it is not true. And it is not true. That's why we are seeing so many different different galaxies and so on. So it means that there are some kind of inhomogeneities present in our universe. And because of these inhomogeneities, there arises some perturbation in cosmology. So we have to understand what is this cosmological perturbation. And if there is a cosmological perturbation, this allowing us to confront them with observations of the cosmic microwave background. I have told you earlier that one of the greatest observation is the cosmic micro background which is called as the relic photons and large scale structures the scale structure is too much important in cosmology and demonstrate how it is possible in principle to construct the equation of a state now equation of state terminology is very technical and very interesting so we have to understand that what is the meaning of the equation of a state now these terms are very important why if you want to become a serious scientist so you cannot just talk in the air you have to give a concrete thing and these terminologies are important in the base in which basis you are going to present your ideas that okay if I am having these ideas and obviously you are welcome to present your idea but you have to provide it what is your in your idea what is the equation of the state and so on and how you are how your idea is actually working with the data so it how it is possible in principle to reconstruct the equation of state of dark energy by also using supernova ie observation data so we have some theory of cosmological perturbation and from which we have you know construct the equation of a state and now we can also construct this equation of a state using the observational data it means that you are going to model your model theory theoretical model from the observation data and in the cosmology when you are studying the cosmology you can have plenty of models but these plenty of models must be constrained from the data and to in order to do that you have to you have to play with lot of computer applications like python and different like c and python or c plus plus and different things fortran and so on so we also discuss in detail the nature of tracking solution in cosmology. So in cosmology, there exists some kind of a tracking solution. Again, the keyword tracking solution. Particle physics. Now, particle physics is playing an amazing role in order to understand the cosmology because you know when universe are too much young and there exist various particles like quarks we have understand that quarks hadrons leptons and so on so what are these properties what are the why and higgs fields also higgs particles so you know universe is not just about the other fields there we have we are seeing the actual particles like photons like electrons moons town particles and things. so what is the impact of these particles you know, we don't know about dark matter and dark energy. So we may suspect that neutrino may play the part of, uh, you know, dark matter. Okay. And now in neutrino, there are de different, different classes of neutrino like axions, like axions and so on. So different, different things happen. Therefore, when we are studying about cosmology, we have to also think about astroparticle physics. Okay. And why astroparticle physics? Because we cannot create those particles in laboratory. So we need very higher, uh, <clears throat> Uh, higher uh, you know, energies but now thanks to lsc we can create now therefore in order to understand the cosmology from the particle physics point of view we can also understand what is the how our cosmology how our universe has evolved from different different sectors now the brain world you know you have already read about string theory and so on now string theory plays an important role but string theory we don't have any concrete evidence therefore wherever there is, so we take inspiration from string theory and try to model in the cosmic realm and from where we can construct so many different scalar fields through that so brain world of dark energy the nature the nature of possible future singularities obviously we don't know what is the future of our universe because we don't have any concrete proof that what is truth what is a true picture of our universe therefore there are some theory which is giving that okay universe may have some future singularities means that the universe may collapse in future so what are these possibilities of future singularities the effect of high order curvature terms to avoid a big leap singularity what is the meaning of it you know when we are dead, when we when the universe was really young it means that t is equal to zero there occurred some big bang okay so there are so many uh, big bang 
but we have just idea we don't have any kind of concrete proof so it is also possible that the universe had no never a big bang what happens is that because when t is equal to zero universe was quantum and the curvature is very high because we know universe is geometric so what happened is that there is some kind of a modification in einstein's theory which led to some kind of you know cyclic kind of universe that the universe is point size and then actually if you go to if you reverse the time what we are seeing that there were any different universe back there and that universe had same properties with our universe but there were some time and then that universe actually gone through some transition and made this uh, and they become so much condensed and uh, become so you know tiny that we are seeing that there could be some explosion but there were no any explosion and there there could be some uh, that that thing can going to happen to our universe also this is called the cycle of universes okay so that's why we can see that in near future also this universe will collapse and then again new universe will birth and so on but there there is no any kind of you know big bang there okay so there is some kind of a transition of phase and approaches to modify gravity obviously we suspect that einstein's theory of gravity is not the whole picture there must be something which we are not understood so what kind of modifications we can see in the gravity and now these modifications may explain the late time acceleration why because we think that when we are talking about scalar fields or some different you know being which is which is actually giving the acceleration so we are talking about fifth force now we understand we have the concrete proof of four forces in the four fundamental forces in our universe one is gravity another is electricity magnetism third is strong force and weak force so we have already uh, you know uh, uh, experimentally verified this force so what happens is that it may suspect that we cannot get any fifth force because when you are introducing the scalar field you are actually uh, and stars about fifth force and still we have not got any clue of fifth force so it is also possible that yeah whatever we are getting the acceleration on dark matter scenario it is not because of the fifth force it is happening because of some kind of an bizarre you know aspect of space time so uh, whatever the einstein had thought about it is not a perfect so we we may add or we may modify the einstein's gravity and how to modify so we have to modify in such a way that it will it should explain the rotation of curves gravitational lensing how the you know a large scale structure cosmic microwave background so whatever the present scenario whatever the present observations it must you know uh, it must satisfy those data so how to modify gravity and it is a very big deal when we are avoiding the fifth force when we avoiding the scalar field so in order to incorporate the modifying gravity is kind of a very tough job and still we don't have any concrete you know a uh, procedure how to modify the gravity so in such a way we are going to understand that how to uh, what so these are the things we are going to get in this review and i think it going to be very interesting to really understand these aspects that okay what is this scalar field what is quintessence what are their difference okay how to under, how to really calculate with dot data how to modify the gravity and how you know we can modify the gravity in such a way that there could be some feature singularities and there could be uh, we can avoid the big rip or we can avoid the big bang so in the later video do not forget to subscribe and share to your friends because in the later video we are going to first try to understand the introduction of little introduction of the dark energy and then we are going to understand about the elements of our development because i know this is these things are very important to understand all these things and i will try to give you the glimpse of uh, uh, that how you going to proceed and you will become a serious scientist So if you really like my work please please like my videos share to your friends and support me in any way you can comment you can write to me i have given my email address so whatever the way you can you can if you want to contribute also your idea you can also present it here okay so see you later next time bye bye